name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan review. Today we're going to be reviewing a Generation 3 Diamond Special Attack Hammerhead. Ooh, I am excited about this one, I can tell you that. Uh, so Generation 3, Wave 2, is finally out in my area. It feels like it took forever for Wave 2 to get here, but we are here now. Got a bunch of secret and special stuff to show you guys from this wave. Uh, got of course, you got Hammerhead here on the side. Pretty cool. Not my favorite character in the anime at all. Um, but I have high hopes for his actual ball form. So you see you got the different pieces and his power ring, which is Shark Cage, which I am very excited about. And then you got the whole combination right there. It looks good. Kind of kind of curious to see how the blue looks on him. Um, I'm hoping he has like a little shark fin that can pop up see what power he has okay so 100 100 500 400 500 100 okay so not not terrible very doable and let's go ahead and pop him open so already took the tape off this so it's easier to do in the recording so I'm pull that out remove the packaging because we no longer need it I'll probably store him in it later um, yeah, here we go. We've got the Bakugan, so this just kind of unfolds. Uh, and then we also have the cards in the back. Oh gosh. Okay. Put that off to the side. Wow. <laughs> That's going everywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and get the cards. Very nice Aquatic Clan um, card there. Let's see if it matches this one I have. I got this one from Butterclaw. So let's see, this is A and this is C. So they probably look something like that. Yeah. Kind of make that out, I think. Something like that. I don't know. I don't think I have the whole aquatic map yet, but that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll use C here, that one. Shark cage, which looks pretty cool. You can actually see some of Hammerhead on there. It's got the diamond shark cage as well. So the different power, I assume. Really cool, a little bit over on the back. Nice and like silver, ooh, looks nice. And then we have Diamond Hammerhead. I believe this is Titanium Hammerhead, not too sure. It's not very clear in the picture. It kind of looks like Titanium Hammerhead from the show, but I can't be 100% sure. But look at that 500 and 500, wow, that's huge. It looks good in the art too, I'm a fan of it, okay. Put that over to the side. Now, of course, we have Hammerhead himself. Let's get this nice ripcord out. Again, they've got to figure out something for these. It's just not working. Uh, but the color is nice. Got that. Oh, we do have a fin. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get Hammerhead out. This actually looks really good. Huh. I really like that. The, the shark fin is my favorite part. That's really cool. And then it seems like, you got, of course, you got the hammerhead because he's a hammerhead shark. Got the hands that kind of stick up. That's really cool as well. Misfit clan symbol here. This is my first um, hammerhead, too, of the series. So very nice. Just kind of complete that misfit clan. He's got little feet right here as well. And his hands. This is quite detailed. I like the scales on the arms as well. Very nice. Okay, cool. Then we've got the bottom half, which is very classic diamond. Let's see how the feet come out. So these are very reminiscent of most of the diamond Bakugan and stuff. Like this, this bottom half doesn't feel unique at all. In fact, I'm almost tempted to say this is exactly like my Galactic Nilius. Literally almost the exact same as my Galactic Nilius. The only difference is like very slight molding differences, but it's essentially the same. Take the shark cage off. Take a look at this. That one's not as exciting as some of the other ones I've seen, but still nonetheless very cool. I do like the shark cage ring, the power ring. It's just very, it's very basic, but in a good way. Like I think it looks really cool. 
He's pretty cool looking. I don't think he's my favorite overall, but he has a very unique design and I'm all for it. I'd like to see one that's not diamond just so I can get more color and like see him a little bit clearer, but it's really nice. It looks like he's kind of sitting on top of the actual special attack ring. Um, so that's cool. Let's see how we close him. So obviously I'm gonna shut those. And it looks like these fold back and then the head seems like hands fold in and then the hmm hmm maybe the head folds in yeah there we go you gotta fold the head in you see that clip yeah cool okay so that hmm got the tailpiece sticking out still Okay, I'm not really 100% sure what I did there, but I'm glad I got it on video. <laughs> okay, cool. The colors on him look pretty good. I like the dark blue with the contrast to that light blue. It looks good. Little Misfit Clan symbol there. It's kind of off-center. Not terrible, though. We've seen worse from B1 Bakugan. Overall, though, it looks like any other diamond you would expect, I think, at this point in the in the game. Nice colors, though. Let's see how he spins. Hopefully this one spins well. I'm gonna put my aquatic cards down. I'm gonna make, like, some of the picture. Eh, kinda. It, it does the job. All right, and we're gonna center this. Let's give him a nice little spin. All right, ready. Three, two, one, brawl. Really taking his time, huh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was cool. Dang, he spins a lot. I wonder if that's on purpose. We gotta try it again, because like, you know how some Beyblades, you can build them to spin longer than other ones? See, that's what I'm thinking of now, is I'm curious to see whether certain Bakugan can do that. He's definitely not the easiest to close. Like, there's a lot going on here that makes it challenging. And that's probably, probably Hammerhead's biggest drawback, is to close him, there's just so much happening. And I'm sure there's a a better way to lock him in but getting that tail in on top of the headpiece immensely challenging i mean it it's doable but like if you're playing a game and you want to prep him for the next match it's gonna take you're gonna be sitting there waiting a lot if you're the opponent all right let's do it again let's see how he spins oh okay a little different there <laughs> Very nice though. I really, I'm pretty happy with him. He's a cool little guy. Yeah, all right. So guys, that is Diamond Hammerhead from Wave 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you think of Hammerhead? Is he your favorite? Is he not your favorite? Is he somewhere in between? Let me know down in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.